Welcome to the Nikon USA Club. You've just joined one of the most prestigious groups of photographers in the world, Nikon owners. Great photographers because they know how to get the most from their Nikons. One of the best reasons for Nikon's reputation is our entire line of versatile, reliable, high-performance cameras, like your exciting and easy-to-use FG. I know you're anxious to begin taking pictures, so let me give you a quick briefing on the basics. They're important even for experienced photographers. The FG's sophisticated electronics are battery powered. So the first thing to do is install the battery. It's important to make sure the battery is inserted plus sign up. Otherwise, it may leak and cause damage to your camera. The Nikon lens mounts easily. Line up the black dot on the mounting ring with the corresponding dot on the camera body and turn the lens gently counterclockwise until it clicks in place. To remove the lens, you just press this release button and reverse the movement. Set the ASA ISO film speed dial by rotating it until the index dot is opposite the film speed you're using. All films come with their ASA ISO film speed clearly marked. As a handy reminder, just insert the end of the film carton in this memo holder on the back of your FG. Now to load your camera. Open the camera back by pulling up on the rewind knob as far as it will go and drop the film cartridge in the chamber. And then insert the tapered leader into the take-up spool. Now make sure the film is snug and that the film sprocket holes are firmly engaged with both sets of sprocket teeth. After closing the camera back, take up any slack in the film cartridge by using a rewind crank. Now stop just as soon as you feel resistance. The frame counter now reads S for start. Advance the film, press the shutter, and repeat until one appears in the window. Check to make sure the rewind knob rotates as you advance. This confirms that you've loaded the film properly. When one appears, the FG's microcomputer is activated. Your new Nikon FG is actually four cameras in one. It operates in any one of four exposure modes. But before we get into the FG's four different exposure modes, let's talk briefly about exposure, f-stops, shutter speeds, and how films respond to changes in these two settings. All films react to only one thing, light. And by letting in the right amount, you can control exposure. The amount of light reaching the film can be controlled in two ways. Either we change the size of the window opening, the lens aperture, through which the light enters by using the f-stop ring, or we leave it open longer so more light passes through by adjusting the shutter speed dial. Therefore, you have an opportunity to change the f-stop or change the shutter speed or both. And in doing so, we let in just the right amount of light. But don't worry, the program mode will take care of all of this for you. Many of you have been attracted to the FG because of the program exposure mode, where all you have to do is focus and shoot. In program, the camera will automatically select the right f-stop and shutter speed combination for excellent exposure. Set the shutter speed mode selector to the letter P. That, of course, means program. Notice that the lock button must be pressed to move in or out of the program mode. Set your lens to its highest F number, turn on the audio warning lever, and you're just about all set to take pictures. The viewfinder contains everything you need to know. In the center, three focusing areas. On the side, a series of numbers. When you press the shutter release button halfway, one or more red dots light up next to the numbers, which represent shutter speeds from one one thousandth of a second to a full one second exposure. And notice that as we pan from sunlight to shadow, the red dots move, indicating a change in shutter speed. The dots should remain lit even after you remove your finger from the button. If they fail to light, or if they go out in less than 16 seconds, that means the battery is weak and should be replaced before you operate your camera. If, on the other hand, you press the shutter release halfway and hear this warning sound, you will notice one of the small red triangles in the viewfinder is sending a warning signal. If the top triangle flashes, there's too much light in the scene, and a slower speed film should be used. If the bottom triangle flashes, there's not enough light, and a Nikon flash or a faster speed film should be used for a proper exposure. In rapidly changing photo situations, the FG's microcomputer actually calculates exposure during the very split second the picture is being taken. Last moment changes in light level therefore make no difference. The light meter reads the entire picture area. 
with extra emphasis on the circular area in the middle. Now, this is Nikon's center-weighted exposure system that's been well established with professionals for many years. After the last exposure, the advance lever will no longer move. Don't force it. Just press the rewind button on the bottom of the camera and wind the film back until the crank turns freely. Then, remove the film from the camera. As you become more interested in photography, you'll probably want to have progressively more creative control. To gain greater control of your picture taking, let's now move into the automatic exposure mode. You set the lens aperture, the camera automatically sets the shutter speed. The viewfinder informs you which shutter speed has been selected. Two adjacent LED dots simply mean that the microcomputer has selected an intermediate shutter speed. As in program, possible over or under exposure is indicated by the small flashing triangles top and bottom. F-stops determine your depth of field. A low F number gives you much less depth of field than a high F number. That means that at F2, for example, focus can be very critical. Only the subject itself will be in sharp focus, while objects in front or behind will appear soft and fuzzy. At F16, however, nearly everything remains in focus. Sometimes you may want to determine shutter speed first. In the automatic mode, the shutter speed is determined by the f-stop you select. A larger f-number gives you a slower shutter speed. A smaller f-number gives you a faster shutter speed. Just press the shutter release halfway, aim the camera, and turn the f-stop ring until the LED lights up next to the shutter speed you want. Now, we've told you that the FG is truly four cameras in one. Let's talk for a moment about the ultimate and creative control, the manual exposure mode. When you choose manual, you put yourself totally in control of all aspects of picture taking. This not only helps you sharpen your skills as a photographer, it allows you to get the very most out of your Nikon in every photographic situation. Even in the manual mode, however, the FG offers you valuable assistance. Set the desired shutter speed and f-stop combination. Point the camera and look through the viewfinder, pressing the shutter release button halfway. The blinking LED indicates the shutter speed recommended by the FG's microcomputer. The steadily lit LED indicates the shutter speed at which the camera is currently set. Bringing these two dots together by changing the shutter speed or f-stop settings will give you the exposure the camera recommends. The manual mode is especially useful in creating startling high contrast effects, such as silhouetting. Of all the modes available with your Nikon FG, perhaps the most innovative is Nikon's TTL or through the lens flash mode. In fact, your FG uses one of the most sophisticated electronic flash systems ever developed. This TTL flash system actually measures the light through your camera's lens, not from a remote sensor located on the flash unit. It gives you completely automated flash photography, not only at night, but as a supplementary light source to fill in shadows indoors or out. To take pictures in the TTL mode, simply mount a Nikon speed light onto your FG's hot shoe and set the FG's shutter speed dial to program or automatic. The f-stop you select will be determined by the distance between your subject and the camera. When you turn the speed light on, two things happen automatically. The proper shutter speed is set and the ASA ISO film speed number is fed into the speed light's computer. Now turn the switch to TTL, and no matter what f-stop is set on the lens, the speed light will automatically adjust its light output for the proper exposure. There are three Nikon speed lights that you can use with your FG, the SB15, the SB16B, and the SB18. Now that we've talked about the FG's four modes, let's explore some of the basics of creative picture taking, starting with composition. The nature of your subject will dictate whether you hold your camera vertically, like this, or horizontally, like this. If you're not sure which framing best suits your subject, shoot it both ways. It won't be long before you develop a feel for the right framing in most situations. Another aspect of composition is where to place the horizon line, centered, high, or low in the frame. The choice is yours, and the effects can be quite interesting. Creative use of lighting can also produce dramatic results. Your camera's sensitive metering system allows you to create effects like these using front light, side light, and even backlight. And in a situation involving backlight, by simply pressing this exposure compensation button while taking the picture, 
you can get results like this. In the case of extremely low light levels with a stationary subject, you can mount your camera on a tripod and with the use of a cable release, take a time exposure, leaving the shutter open for as long as is needed. Creative opportunities are increased even more when we consider films with different ASA ISO ratings. Now, while all films react to light, those with high ASA ISO numbers, such as 1000, are more sensitive to light than those with low numbers, such as 64. And remember, by selectively choosing your f-stop, you can manipulate the depth of field, keeping everything in sharp focus with a high f number, or keeping only the foreground or background in focus with a low f number. Your creative choice of shutter speed can also produce interesting effects. In photographing a rapidly moving subject, you may want to deliberately blur the action with a slow shutter speed, or perhaps you want to freeze the action at up to a thousandth of a second. When you bought your Nikon FG, you bought the ability to utilize a wide range of optional Nikon accessories. One of the most exciting is the MD14 motor drive. Designed especially for the Nikon FG, this motor drive allows you to shoot up to three frames per second without ever taking your eye from the viewfinder. Commonly used for fast action situations and candidates, it's lightweight and comfortable to hold in your hand, and it attaches quickly and easily to your FG with just one thumb screw. Another interesting accessory is the MF15 data back. On any frame, it can imprint your choice of year, month, and day, day, hour, and minute, or any number from two to 2,000. It's perfect for keeping a record of personal memories. With more than 70 different Nikon lenses available for your FG, you can literally change the way you see the world. Nikon lenses range from a six millimeter fisheye to a 2,000 millimeter super telephoto. In between, there are wide angle, micro, and zoom lenses. Uh, you probably purchased with your FG a 50 millimeter lens. This lens has an angle of view close to that of a human eye, and it's suitable for most situations. But to widen your creative horizon, try a 24 millimeter or a 28 millimeter lens. And for classic portraits like this, Try the 105 millimeter lens. Longer focal length lenses really reach out and bring you in close. They're great for candids and sports shots. But the most versatile of all lenses are the Nikon zooms. Nikon makes a wide variety of zoom lenses, including the popular 35 to 105. It covers wide, normal, and telephoto ranges, giving you the flexibility of a large number of focal lengths all in one lens. Other Nikon zooms include the 35 to 70 and the 70 to 210. But remember, only Nikon lenses will give you the best results with a Nikon camera. Nikon's quality and reliability are unsurpassed, but the system doesn't end here. There's a wide variety of Nikon filters, lens hoods, close-up attachments, and other accessories available, offering you a vast array of photographic possibilities. But you already own the most important. Your membership in the Nikon USA Club makes you eligible for many exclusive promotional offers for Nikon equipment. And if you subscribe to Nikon World, you'll be able to learn from the exciting photographs and experiences of Nikon owners all over the world. Look in the camera box for your subscription form. So once again, congratulations. You've joined the ranks of the world's finest award-winning photographers. You've got a Nikon. You're a Nikon photographer.